In this video, we're going to make Guy's Magic Potion. Sci-Fi Sci War Gamers. Greetings, hobby fans. Well, a lot of you may have seen that Guy over at Midwinter Minis has made a magic potion. So I thought it would be fun to try it out and see if we could make it and see just how well it works. Now, as you all know, Guy over at Midwinter Minis is probably one of the biggest mini tubers out there at the moment. So if he says this stuff is worth making, I'm pretty sure it damn well must be. So without further ado, let's jump in and make some. You're gonna need just four things. First of all, a container to put your new super juice in. For my water storage container, I have found this. I have no idea what it is. It has FI written on there. So that must mean it says fuck it. Um, yeah, I think we'll uh, wash this out. Second, you're gonna need some water. Not sure I've got water. And here's a glass of water I've found. Um, pretty sure that's normal water. Tastes like water. Washing up liquids, whatever you want to call mm, it. And four, not sure about washing up work. liquid. I have my fairy platinum quick wash dish soap. Um, I'm not gonna try and taste test this one. Some acrylic matte medium. That matte medium I've got. Now somewhere around here, in all this muck and filth I've accumulated throughout the years, I have some Galleria matte medium. I might have a Smith's toy receipt here and the dustiest tape measure known to man Check out that dust coming off there. But I think what we are looking for is in there. Uh, we'll move that and look at the layer of dust on there. Um, I'm going to assume this is still good to go. Uh, we'll open it up and have a look. I'm going to give this one of the uh, longest shakes known to man. There we go, I think that is shaken well enough after 10 years. Just like with any emulsion, mayonnaise included, the more water you add to it, the more... I'm going to need some mayonnaise, apparently. Let's go. Well, that's it, apparently. Yeah, Let's go. All right, we now have the four ingredients required. The Galleria matte medium, I must admit, I was very lucky to have some of the exact brand. Some uh, UK brand tap water, some fairy dishwasher soap. This time it's platinum quick wash. I don't know if that'll make any difference. And a little pot, empty pot rather, of fuck it. Okay, so uh, now it's time to begin the mix. Apparently, first off, we fill this halfway up with matte medium. Goodbye, lid. Get that out of the way. Luckily, I have a pipette on hand. One pipette. Two pipettes. Three pipettes. Four pipettes. That's about four pipettes worth, and there's some gunk floating around the bottom. But I'm going to just assume that means nothing. Next up, we're apparently supposed to put the same again of the matte medium in. Is it matte medium? Yes. Um, imagine if medium was your surname. Your name would be matte medium. Anyway, let's add this. Uh, it was four pipettes worth, wasn't it? So that's one pipette. Two pipettes. Oh, it looks like that purple stuff from Ghostbusters 2. Three pipettes. Four pipettes. That's four pipettes worth in there now. Okay, next we're supposed to add half a drop of the dishwasher soap. And uh, this is going to be easier said than done. Was that half a drop? That's about half a drop. That might have been a whole drop. Whoops. But I'm going to do something a little different and I'm going to add something else. I'm going to put one of my balls in there. 
Uh, Guy didn't do this, but I'm going to, because I find these do a really good job of mixing up your paints. I usually add one of these to every single paint I own. These are little ceramic balls. Um, don't put more than one in, because they tend to smash each other up into grit. So plop it in, just put your ball in the top, and that's done. So that literally is all the ingredients. So all we have to do next, apparently, is stick the lid back on and give it a good shake. I think I've put a bit too much water in. Look, you can hear my balls rattling around in there. Okay, it's time to see just how well Guy's Magic Potion uh, works. I've got some magenta paint here to try and we're going to paint it on this palette to see how thin we can get it. So we'll add a couple of drops of magenta paint just like that and then we'll add a few squirts of Guy's Special Juice Potion or whatever it's called. We'll start with a couple of drops and see what happens. Well, well, well. It actually works. I'm quite impressed with that. I'm a little streaky. Mix in a bit more of the wash up there. The juice, I should say. I think this would work really well for a glazing application more than anything. Because you can thin it right down. And it doesn't seem to break up. And I like that. Let's try and glaze over that purple. It's not too streaky, not too bad. We shall add that to the toolbox. So there you go, there's Guy's Magic Potion. What did you think of it? Have you made any for yourself? Are you using it to glaze? Are you using it to thin your paints? Are you using it for something else? Please let me know in the comments below. If you enjoy the content on this channel, then please consider joining the Patreon, the link to which is in the description below. And if you do, I will love you forever. If you want to see some more tutorials, and I know you do, then check out the playlist up here somewhere. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. That means you, Michael. As always, thank you very much for watching, and always remember to drill your barrels.